A Catholic couple has filed a lawsuit against the state of Massachusetts. They allege the Commonwealth is rejecting their application to foster parents because of their Catholic faith. Mike and Kitty Burke say that they went through the entire vetting process with the Massachusetts Department of Children and Families and were turned away after expressing their viewpoints on marriage, sexuality, and gender. Here now to discuss the case is Lori Windham, senior counsel at Beckett Law, who is representing the Burks. Lori, great to have you with us today. Um, can you give us just a little bit of background on the Burks story and what ultimately led you to filing the lawsuit on their behalf? Absolutely. Uh, the Burks are a wonderful, loving couple. Mike uh, plays the organ at Mass. Kitty is a cantor. Mike's an Iraq War veteran. They own a small business together. Kitty's actually worked with special needs children in the past. And after being unable to have children of their own, they open their hearts and open their home and foster, and they hope someday to adopt the child through the Massachusetts foster care system. After, as you said, a very lengthy application process, they were turned down and the state was very clear. The reason they were rejected is because of their Catholic religious beliefs on issues like marriage and sexuality and gender. Yeah, and I know uh, several outlets are reporting that the foster care system in the state uh, is in crisis there in Massachusetts. Um, can you talk to us about that and how bad is it? You know, this comes at a really sad moment for Massachusetts. There was an expose about the fact that Massachusetts actually had children who were left in hospitals, who were healthy children, and they were being housed in hospitals because Massachusetts didn't have a place to put them. There are hundreds of children right now who are in need of a loving home. And so the idea that they would turn away a couple like Mike and Kitty is just heartbreaking. And it also raises the question, if they're willing to turn away this one faithful Catholic couple, how many others out there are going to be turned away when we need homes for these kids? Yeah, and you, you mentioned the state of Massachusetts, you know, citing uh, their views on marriage and sexuality and, and gender stemming from their religious faith, their Catholic faith. Um, but I'm curious, you know, if it was another faith, say they were Jewish or Muslim or, or Mormon who shared similar values, uh, do you think they would have been turned away? Uh, I think based on what Massachusetts has said, there's a very real possibility they could be turning away a number of families from different faith groups, which just means fewer loving homes for children who are in need. And it's it's really concerning that because this Catholic couple was honest about their faith and honest about what they believe, they were just excluded from welcoming any child in the foster system into their home. Yeah, it is heartbreaking. Um, there has been, as you know, a ton of publicity uh, surrounding this lawsuit. Are you surprised at the reaction and also the public's interest in this story? You know, I'm really heartened to see how much attention uh, has been on this story. It shows that it really has struck a nerve. Um, people are looking at this story and saying, wait a minute, with all these kids out there, why would you do this? And also, I think a lot of people who are perhaps hoping to foster or adopt themselves or people who are parents are thinking about this and going, wow, how could the state say that you were that you were not fit, that you were not able to have children placed in your home because of your religious beliefs? I think this is the kind of thing that uh, really concerns many, many people. And it's the kind of thing at Beckett that we want to be able to to fight against and to make sure that religious freedom is going to be protected. Lori, what comes next in this case? Well, we are waiting to see what Massachusetts is going to say. They have not commented so far, despite all the media stories. Uh, this case was just filed in federal court in Massachusetts this week. Uh, we're asking the courts to undo the wrong that has been done and make sure that the Burks and other families like them are not going to be excluded. And so Massachusetts uh, later this month or early next month is going to have to go to the court and give an, an answer uh, for what it has done. Well, Lori, thank you so much for talking with us. We're going to continue to follow this case. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. God bless. Thank you. God bless.